out and circulating and available to the public. The EIR, the draft EIR, then was made public uh, last week, oh, two weeks ago, at the September 22nd uh, board workshop. And it is a 45-day comment period as required by, by law on October 27th. That's something you can consider whether or not you wish to, to extend on. So we wanted to acknowledge that that's the pathway that, that this is all on. In other planning team uh, issues, the Mendocino Town Plan will be presented. Um, the data review will be presented on October 21st. The inclusionary housing policy we hope to be bringing back on October 28th. And, um, at, and we are working on a housing summit in Willis, but the county-wide in November to kick off the development of the next housing element. And then finally, for the Ukiah Valley Area Plan, the water assessment is underway, and we're doing the last contract amendment for um, completion of that, and uh, also looking at the economic analysis portion of it. So the Ukiah Valley Area Plan is moving forward to the planning. Inclusionary housing is working? Uh, October 20th. Yeah, we're hoping sooner, but 28 is, is where we find it. And then, I don't know if you want to recognize Supervisor Colfax, or you want me to just finish my last time? Supervisor question? Yeah, two, two questions. Uh, with regard to the uh, general plan meetings that are taking place, one's in the booth here in Bob Powell, it's got something to try to be, so I believe in the uh, but the uh, question is, who is staffing this? Are we have the same person staff uh, each of these meetings as they go forward? Or do we have different uh, folks doing it? I believe we've got the same staff moving forward, Eric Norris from PMC, as well as members of the planning team. So there's some consistency as, as we So the same staff from planning team? Yes. Okay. And uh, with regard to the Mendocino Town Plan, have we acquired the, the data that needs, will be brought forward on the 21st? We've updated the data. Yes, there, there's a, additional research that's been done and some correlations of the numbers, and, and um, it's pretty interesting stuff. Yes, yeah, the county council's not even enthusiastic, we haven't believed it at that point. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so, where all of these dates will be found is in the board action plan, and this is an updated uh, version of that. It's what you adopted at the beginning of the year. And um, so it has the dates as we move through planning team issues and everything else. The nice thing is, is as we've done things, we've checked it off, and so there are quite a few checks, and that's nice. And, uh, and then we kind of have a picture as we get towards the end of the year. So the final item I wanted to report on real quickly is the lightning jam that occurred this weekend on uh, Sunday to recognize all of the responders, the firefighters throughout the county, and to um, also to recognize them and give them proclamations, but also to, to treat them to a, a concert and to bring people together to raise funds for them. And, I don't have any of the, the numbers yet. They're still kind of cranking through that. But the I believe there were probably over a thousand people who attended. And uh, all the feedback that I have gotten is that people had a, a good time, the food was good, and it was a good cause. And as people were going through the, the food line, one of them was one of the volunteers from a fire department. And I said, you know, how does it feel to be on the other side of the serving line? And, and he was really appreciative. And I, I think that uh, it, it worked out. And I want to say that virtually everything, everything was donated. Um, you know, the only thing that had to be purchased was the insurance and uh, the, the meat and the chicken at a very low price and the side dishes, the, the paper plates, the you name it, uh, lighting, sound, musicians, all donated because we wanted all of the money to go to the firefighters. It will be given to the Fire Chiefs Association, and uh, they will be it up among the, the districts in the county. And great turnout of the board members there, and just the whole community. I don't know if anyone wants to add anything. 
Yeah, I'd like to express uh, my appreciation to our chairman, who uh, was centrally involved in that effort. I'd like to thank you for being there on the uh, salad line, as well as other places. But I think here this is, uh, I'd also think that the board, uh, it would be helpful to uh, formally express uh, our appreciation to, to Heidi uh, Dickerson and uh, to uh, Mike Thompson for their role in this, as well as Chris Christophus and Lexi put on a pretty good show. Uh, uh, even though the circumstances were rather uh, uh, interesting, uh, given the content of his performance and the uh, demographics of the crowd. But uh, in any case, I think we, uh, if we could ask uh, uh, staff to prepare letters of uh, appreciation to, uh, uh, I think, uh, those individuals that would be a good idea. Uh, putting yourself, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. And uh, it was a very enjoyable time. And uh, Mr. Christopherson is a very personal uh, gentleman who uh, also happens his own property in our county. And uh, so we had a personal input here and uh, uh, did 